I am all for winning. I am 100% all for we got to try to figure out a way to win so we could be successful. Let's get it. I am not all for looking at the rules, going over with a fine tooth comb and trying to figure out a way that we can circumvent the rules to give us a better opportunity to win over other teams. Because what that does is that breaks the rules. And then when those same schemes and schematics are used against you, now you're saying, oh, woe is me. This ain't fair. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so, yeah. So it'd be really hard to dispute that LeBron James isn't one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Can be argued one of the inf one of the pardon me most influential athletes of all time. This could be argued. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, no matter what you think about LeBron James, he is absolutely one of the most influential athletes of the history of America. Those are kind of facts. Anyway, LeBron James has this propensity to decide that he wants to dominate all free agent markets by pre proactively, pardon me, getting himself involved in player reassignment. So, okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you what this is first. This vid this video is gonna be about, and basically this video is about how LeBron James has broken the NBA to his own benefit. And as much as people may love LeBron James and say, "Yo, but he's the greatest. He should be able to do whatever he wants." I remember a guy called Wilt Chamberlain who when he had to go against the Boston Celtics he didn't try to get all of the best players in the league to come play with him. He just kept improving his game. And with that being said, I'm going to move on. Also, real quick, if everybody remember when Michael Jordan initially came into the league, he was getting destroyed. I mean, yeah, he was scoring like 40, 50. But his teams were losing very badly to the likes of Boston and the Detroit Pistons. Michael Jordan didn't then decide, you know what? I'm going to go try to get, I don't know, Patrick Ewing to come to the team. Maybe go try to get Elijah Wan. Maybe, you know, uh, who else could we go try to pick up to bring over to where I'm at so I can compete? Michael Jordan didn't do that. I just want to throw that out there. Now, my last example real quick before I talk directly about LeBron James, think about Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant actively was trying to get rid of Shaq. <laughs> think about that for a minute. You have LeBron James, who is always trying to get the best players to come play with him and people say he's the greatest ever. There's people that think LeBron James is the greatest ever. And I'm not knocking you. That's a, you know, that's that's the player that you like. You should like him. Hey, who am I to tell you different? But you have players like Kobe Bryant, who has arguably the most dominant basketball player since Wilt Chamberlain on his team, the most dominant force. And he wants to get rid of the dude to show people that he could do it just with, you know, a regular team. He doesn't need all these superstars. Now, what happened later on in the future is beyond the point, but I'm talking about what happened between him and Shaq. Anyway, LeBron James has, as everybody know, 
a uh, percentage or he's part of a agency that represents athletes and musicians and just into people entertainment. It's ran by his homeboy, right? Somebody leave his homeboy's name down in the description. I can never remember that guy's name for some strange reason. So it's ran by his homeboy, who he grew up with, who they played on the same high school basketball team for everybody that don't know. Something Carter, Maverick Carter. They played on the same basketball team for everybody that don't know growing up. Like, this is his homie. Shout out to LeBron James for... Shout out to LeBron James for not leaving none of his day ones behind. Not leaving his day one behind. That's a fact. So, one of the people that they represent is... <laughs> Anthony Davis. So the thing that makes this really messed up and really just not right, and come on, man, you can't really be doing this, is they have decided, Anthony Davis and whoever his direct agent is, that what they're going to do is they're going to ask for a, uh, let the um, Pelicans know, that's the team that he's currently on, that they will not be resigning. But see, this is what it is. Before anybody say, players do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Players do tell teams in the final year of their contract that they're not going to resign so the team could then find them a good deal because, you know, they don't want to leave the people high and dry or they want to force the team to trade them to the team that they want to go to. This happens. Guess what? Anthony Davis has another year left on his contract after this year, so this particular situation does not fall in that particular category. Okay, you know you gotta have people in the comment section trying to that that's gonna be their argument. So I'm saying it right now. So for everybody that sees somebody make that argument in the comment section, you know that they're just caping. That's it. They're just oh man, LeBron James. I was gonna say something, but I might get demonetized, so I'm not gonna say it. But <laughs> but you know, fellatio. Anyway. What's basically happened is LeBron James has tried to circumvent the rules of the NBA in order to allow for him to have the best possible chance to win. Now, when somebody is playing with inside of, inside of the rules, it's one thing. But just think about this for a minute. The reason why we have the current NBA landscape or the NBA landscape is currently the way it is, is due directly to LeBron James going to Miami. Yes, for everybody that says no, the um the what the Golden State Warriors did it first, you know they win they had seventy something win team and then they added to Kevin Durant, and for everybody that says no, the Boston Celtics did it first because they wouldn't got the big three. The Boston Celtics built their team organically. They made some trades. They got a draft pick. They were fortunate that Rondo was as good as he was at running the team. They were fortunate that KD still had something left in the tank. They didn't do these, 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 make these decisions while players were in the prime of their careers. That's my point. They were fortunate that Paul Pierce still had the ability to ball the way that he did. People forget Paul Pierce was what, like 10 years in at this point or something? They were fortunate that Ray Allen became available. They traded pieces to get pieces. I don't think anybody forced their way out of anywhere. Maybe KD did, but KD was extremely loyal to Minnesota before then. So they kind of owed it to him to allow him the opportunity to go to where and be successful. LeBron James and his uh, agency that, that he owns a piece of with Maverick Carter has decided that they're going to get their client. That's right. Their client, Anthony Davis, to ask for a trade. Now, when they got Anthony Davis to ask for a trade, there's one major thing that this is doing. Everybody already knows that at the end of the year, if Anthony Davis makes it to the end of the year, which he would because the Pelicans have no reason to trade him. I mean, what the hell are you talking about? You have a whole nother year left on your contract. This is why people don't say that they want to trade a year before they actually get traded. I mean, pardon me, a year before they the, the last year of their contract. Because the team doesn't have to move you. They have a whole nother year. The reason why he's asked for a trade now is 
because at the end of the year, the Boston Celtics will then again be able to make trades. Right now, the Boston Celtics, because of there's something going on with the uh, the contract of, of Kyrie Irving, I think they're not allowed to make trades or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But for whatever the reason is, the Boston Celtics can't really make any trades until like June. You got it. LeBron James is trying to get um, Anthony Davis to the, to the Los Angeles Lakers before the Boston Celtics has an opportunity to offer the, the, the Pelicans a package in order for them to get Anthony Davis. Now, for a lot of people that says, why don't they just wait? It don't matter. It's just one more year. LeBron James is kind of old. You think he's, he's going to want to wait another year? That's one point. The second point is they already tried that, the Lakers, that is. They already tried that with um, Paul George. Paul George ended up, they said, you know what? Paul George is going to come to us anyway. We're not going to sign for him. Paul George ended up being traded to the OKC Thunder. And now Paul George is happy there, and he's not going to go to the uh, Lakers. I got one more thing to talk about in this video. Be over real quick. For everybody that thinks that everybody wants to play with LeBron James, this is not true. I'm going to tell you this now. If Anthony Davis gets traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, look for his production to go down drastically. The number one reason why LeBron James wants Anthony Davis is because he can shoot the three and he's a big man that can get the four out of the paint. That allows there to be more room for LeBron James to attack the basket. Right now, I think he has Cal Kuzma at the four at points, and Cal Kuzma is a really good player and a player I don't think that they're going to trade. But Cal Kuzma really isn't a shooter, and LeBron James wants shooters around him so he could play his game. I'm just stating facts. LeBron James went and got Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh was a very dominant low post threat. Chris Bosh turned into a corner three specialist. LeBron James went and got... Um, Love, Kevin Love. Kevin Love was a really big threat in the paint, scoring, rebounding. Kevin Love turned into a corner three specialist. Kevin Love complained about his touches. I don't think Chris Bosh complained as much, but Kevin Love complained about his touches, where he was getting the ball, how often he was getting the ball, when he was getting the ball. Because when you play with LeBron James, you have to change every single thing that you do in order to allow for him to be more successful. I don't know if that's the best way to go, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, leave the comments down below. I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that this is fair? Do you think that uh, LeBron James is getting away with too much? Do you think that the NBA should attempt to try to do something to prevent this from happening in the future? How can a player have part ownership of an agency that represents players in the league that he plays for? That doesn't kind of sound like a conflict of interest. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.